What's up guys? Uh, I've got a lot of interest about my boat and uh, people want more pictures and more information so I figured the easiest way to do it would just to be to do a video walk around on it. So 1988 Carver Santigo 30. It is a 30 foot long boat. It is 10 and a half feet wide. It has twin Mercury 350s with alpha drives. Um, the boat is located on Grand Lake in Oklahoma. Um, trying to think of some key points and features. It does have a windless anchor. It is a free fall style. Um, it does function. It has an Onan First Mate 3.0 generator that works. It has marine air conditioning that works. It um, I feel kind of stupid. I'm sort of forgetting all the details here. Uh, just kind of wanted to do a walk around of the condition and everything. You can see it here in the slip where it lives. We had it out yesterday. Did good. A um, couple things that it does need. It does need some of this rail replaced. It's missing. You know, I mean, my opinion on the rail is don't hit stuff, but you know, that is something that it could use some replacement on. Uh, it does have a loose screw on that handle there on the front deck very minor things um, from the inside the boat's got a lot of visibility with all these windows it's real nice has a lot of space on the interior especially for a 30-foot boat the we added some faux teak to the steps to make it a little easier to board uh, being that you do have to go up the stairs to get in it um, here's the rear area got a lot of storage uh, all of these compartments open up this is the engines compartment and the generator. I'll open that in a second. Uh, storage here. Uh, I did replace these lights on the back deck to LED lights. Work good. Uh, I've got your battery selector down there. Um, stairs to go up top will go up there. It does have a very large sliding rear glass door, which makes it real easy to get in and out of it. Also gives you really nice visibility out on the water. The cabin is very very large for this size it has a couch right here with storage underneath it has the wraparound leather couch with the two matching cushions that go on top of the table to turn that into pretty much a full-size bed um, it does have some entry lights for the evening time that you can turn on i have installed a 32 inch smart tv i just hot spot my phone to it um, it's got storage all along the top, which is pretty nice. Uh, has windows with blinds on both sides. The power panel right here for all the DC and AC switches is all right there. We have the windows here you can see. It's really nice to be able to sit in here and you can see all around the boat. Um, all of the interior lighting minus one fixture all works. So it's all new replaced bulbs as of last year. Uh, I've got storage all along here. Uh, this boat has a ton of storage. Uh, it has a Uline ice maker. The water pump is currently not working, so the ice maker doesn't make ice, but it does get cold as a freezer. We've got a water spigot. We've got the microwave. Um, here's a picture or video little spot of the actual galley itself. A lot of cooking space with that peninsula. It has an electric or alcohol stove. I have never tested the alcohol, but the electric does work properly. It has a wooden folding door here for privacy in the master stateroom. It's made by Pella, believe it or not, which is kind of cool. If any construction guys out there. Um, so it does have pretty good privacy in here. Here are the other remaining seats for the bed in the front. This is the master stateroom. It does have its own light, although we have some little plug-in lights that we use. Uh, we have two closets for the stateroom, uh, both with hanging capabilities. Also, there's another under storage here. The controls for the marine air conditioning are right here. Other closet right here. So the marine air conditioning water pump was replaced this season. So the air conditioning is functional. Uh, I have replaced the refrigerator with a standard mini fridge. I do still have the original 12 volt 120 fridge. If you're interested in the boat, you're welcome to the fridge as well. It does not work. 
Um, we have some storage here. Like I said, storage is huge on this thing. Uh, it's great for staying the weekend on the head. Very large. The toilet does not currently work. Everything is hooked up. I believe the toilet itself just needs to be replaced. Has a nice big sink, has the shower, a nice mirror for getting ready in the mornings. It does also have all new and replaced lighting. So that's nice. Towel storage, pretty straightforward in here. That pretty much wraps up the inside of the boat. The interior is in pretty good shape. There is a little staining on the carpet by the kitchen. There is a couple stains under this rug from looks like marine antifreeze when they winterize something at some point. Some of this wood is a little janky, but you know, it closes up. It all works. There is some storage down here as well. So it has a ton of storage. That is the main thing. And these couches are both very comfortable. Uh, this one, I don't know what it looks like on camera, but in person, it's very comfortable. Um, and then the actual driving area up here. Got to go up the stairs. You have two captain's chairs. A big storage compartment. Also another huge storage compartment up front for all your life jackets and stuff, which is great. Another storage compartment right here. Seating in the back. For about three plus you and your co-pilot um, it does have twin sticks throttle sticks and transmission sticks um, the gauge package is pretty basic it's just got a selectable fuel gauge for both tanks temps on each engine oils on each engine selectable voltage for both batteries it does have some sort of synchronizer that does not work it does have a compass that does work and it does have a depth finder that does work uh, the controls for the winch are right there for the anchor and the spotlight controls are right there. It does have uh, some speakers up here hooked up to a stereo downstairs, Bluetooth, so you can uh, just play your phone to it. Also has a couple speakers in the cabin, so uh, pretty, pretty straightforward stuff there. Um, the engines, I'm sure most of you probably want to see that, so I'll pop up one of these compartments real quick, show you the engines. Pretty easy to get to here. So both engines are exactly the same. They are both Alpha One Merc Cruiser closed cooled seven or five sevens, and that is the Onan generator. All functional, all work. Uh, hours are unknown on the engines. They do not have hour meters on them, but uh, they both run pretty good and then drives work pretty good. So it is a seaworthy vessel. We had it out yesterday and ran everything. So that's great. Um, there is a big compartment under here as well to get to the front sides of the engine. So maintenance is quite easy on this boat because you can basically take the entire deck up. Sorry, pardon me. And so that, your battery storage is down here as well as extra ropes and stuff. I have a little cord adapter for the shore power, all that. So that's pretty much the boat. Um, I can take you around to the front side here just to be thorough. It does have the walk deck on the sides with handles, so you can navigate around the side of the boat. It is honestly a little narrow. Part of the helicopter. And the front area is very big, uh, plenty big enough for two of your friends to hang out and sunbathe. Um, Get your nice view of the front, the port for the master stateroom, spotlight, all that stuff works. It is a 32 year old boat, so yes, there is some things that don't work, and yes, there is some things that could be repaired, but um, as far as for the price, I do not believe you'll find a larger, more fully functional boat than this for the price. And I really hope that somebody that really wants it and will really take care of it gets it. So. Uh, another thing, it does not have any bimini or covers. It does have the snaps for a cockpit enclosure. Uh, if you wanted to get a new one made, all that stuff is there. It does have the accoutrements for a rear and a top bimini. So those are things, if I were to keep it longer, I would definitely do. But other than that, pretty straightforward boat, guys. Um, 
I'm going to leave my email in the description. I have this listed on Craigslist in Tulsa as well as on Facebook Marketplace. So if you guys have any other questions, I will leave my information in the ad and feel free and contact and reach out to me. Uh, this boat is free and clear with an Oklahoma title. So if you guys are interested, let me know. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day and uh, thanks for always tuning into my videos, guys. Have a great one.